everybody, my name is Waylon JP, and welcome back to Undertale. Now, whew, I think I got the Temi armor. Do I? No, I don't. I've been here for four hours, and I had to restart the game because I effed up on the Undyne battle. Uh, but now I have a thousand gold, and I can get the Temi armor. Hooray! Yeah! Thank you! At least I have some extras to buy stuff later on, but right now, I am gonna equip it because it's really helpful in later on. I mean, originally I wasn't gonna do it because I did it without getting it, but now I'm gonna get rid of the old tutu. What happens if we go no? Oh, I guess I just gotta go say yeah. There we go. Boy! Alright, let's get out of Temi Village. Do, 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 do. The Temmie's corrupted me. Help! <laughs> Alright, let's get to where we are supposed to go, which is not this way. We were supposed to go over here. So we can get to the Undyne battle. Ah, crest. Temmie! Let's flex. I have, I have no muscles in my arms. Hemi, are you okay? No! Oh no. Yeah, it took me a lot of time to get this done! Ugh. But it's worth it in the end. It's worth it. Bye! At least we got some extra gold for later on. I could go back to the guy with the ice cream. Should I? Do I have enough gold for that? I do, but I don't think I have enough space, but... We're gonna continue where we are going. It's really good to be back into this. Oh no, not this room. Also, one thing to note, oh, is during the Asgore battle, I think I, I think I knew what I was doing, but at the same time, not. Ah, crap. Oh, run away, run away. Ugh. I'm not dealing with that can of worms once again. Oh crap, 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 I could have went that way, no! I can't see! Ah, oh, Christ. Where's the lantern? There it is. Whew. But at least I memorized it, slowly, sort of. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Is this where the music begins? Let me turn this down. I believe. Oh, no, it's not. Behind you. Hi! I'm Waylon. I said. Well, okay, you wanna. want a hug? Want a handshake? Want a bro Want a bro fist? I was about to say bro hoof, but. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? No! I don't want to understand. I don't want to fight you. It's your, fine, your only chance at redemption. I didn't do anything! Also, excuse my spit! I just finished eating something. Or, oh, I didn't know what it was. I, uh, uh, give me your determination or tear from your body, whatever it is. Uh, at least can I have my final meal as a Creative C cookie? Oh, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, shouldn't have eaten that cookie. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You got front row seats to her fight! This guy is dim. Wait, who's she fighting? <laughs> Squeak! Hey, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Why is his this kid's parents going off and not telling him to stay away from humans? Come on! Why are we in a world of idiots? Oh wait! Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Yo! How did you get past Undyne? Dude.
Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I never had to ask anyone this before. Um... <laughs> you, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um... Guess that makes us enemies or something. But no! No, we're besties! We're besties! I don't know what you're talking about. You're gonna die. I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yeah, because you're too dim to be an enemy. What is up with my attitude today? <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? You know what? Screw it! Let's say yes. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Yes, I have to do it. <laughs> Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. See ya, dude! Don't trip! And of course he trips. Yo! Wait! Help! I tripped! Uh oh. There we go. Y yo, dude. If if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Also, people were telling me to do the genocide route one of these days, but when I do the pacifist route and do the true pacifist ending, I will do so afterwards if I get there first. Well, afterwards, you know. Then Shadow will come out more. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> well, just have to be friends instead. And I should really go home. But my parents are worried sick about me. Any trips? Later, dude. No, he does not trip this time. Well, at least we saved him. What happens if we didn't? Also, I fucked up the Undyne battle. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is it. And where I made it to the Hotlands after a stroke of luck. Ooh, good thing I had that Temi armor. But I accidentally went off the camp, off the room to the to the next area, and when I came back, Undyne was gone, and I had to do the entire two thing two hours again. Hi, Undyne. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Yes, we already know that. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. Is she on a mountain or is she just somewhere else? It all started long ago. Hold on. Turning it down. No. You know what? Three, two, one. Screw it. Alright. Let's get to work. Ow. You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alvis says history books made me think humans were cool. Yeah, but the giant robots and flowery swordswomen. I know. Flowery... Flowery swordswomen? Why did... Why can I not say that right? Flowery... Flowery swordswomen. Why is with that? But you? Just a coward. I'm behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoe shtick. Such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Why? I didn't do anything to you. It was the it was our ancestors that did that. We did I didn't do anything. Not the present at least. But come on! <sighs> Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. How, how can she feel that? Everyone's been waiting their whole life. Her, 
<laughs> Their whole lives for this moment. Sorry. Burp stuck in my throat. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human. Let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> here we go. What happens if we go out of the room? Actually, you know what? Here we go. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come. You know what would be more good music? Megalovania. On guard! Undyne attacks. Let's check. I'm not gonna challenge her. Oh. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You can't escape unless you... I can't remember. You won't last a second against me. I did so twice! Three times, actually. One during my live stream, another during off camera, and then now. Not bad. Then how's this? How about this? Oh no, I have to do Metaton's quiz show after this. I don't want to! For years we've dreamed of a better future, I believe that's what it said. But I don't care! I'm in the middle of a battle! I don't care for a dialogue, I've already seen this before! Now suddenly he's just within our reach. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I love the Tammy armor. I can hear it go boing! I won't let it let you snatch it away from us. Well, too bad! Cause I'm that selfish! And then thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Jeez. Nah! Enough warming up! Oh boy. Oh god! Stupid key! My key! My, 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 my mouse key! My, 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 my keyboard key got stuck! I don't know what's going on with my... Oh crap! No! Oh shit! Holy crap! Holy crap! I forgot about that! Flee! Excuse me! I, I have a date to go to- Oh piss! Doink! You won't get away from me this time! But I've done so already! Yeah, I will do... Genocide after this. I want to see what happens. Because I've always done pacifist. I've always done pacifist. But I should do genocide afterwards. Oh. Wait a minute. Boink! <laughs> Holy crap, that was close. That was reflex, so stop being so damn resilient. That is actually the first cuss word I've ever seen in this game, goddammit! No! Hey! Good thing I still got the Tammy armor. I still got it! Okay, don't fuck up, 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 don't fuck up! Come on! You escaped me, escaped from me for the last time. Oh boy. I remember those moves. Ha 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 Spare! Oh shit! I'm determined too. I don't care! Wait a minute. Ah fuck! Hey now, I'm an all-star. Right now. Oh fuck. Ooh. I was lucky. Right now. I was like sushi. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god! Ah! Die already, you little brat! No! I will never! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! No! Stop! No! Ugh. <laughs> Run away! I've got better to do with Dean! See ya! Oh god damn it, Papyrus! Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. After you hang out with me, let's meet up at our house. I think you would make great pals. Like, uh... That was close!
close. Whoo! That was very close. Okay, don't fuck up this time. Don't fuck up this time. Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. Yep. Alright. Let's not go into the next room. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yes! Take a cup of water. Ow. These cookies are a little bit cooked. Give on dying the water? No! We're gonna let her die! Yes, we're giving her the water. Right then. You're welcome. Bye! Oh wait, no, I know what to do now. I'm gonna go to her house. Sans is not there anymore. Why was Sans there? I don't know. Oh wait! There's a river man. Or woman. I shouldn't be eat eating while doing videos. I'm an idiot. Hey dude! Okay, K, K, K. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. What? 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 Okay. Hi, guards! Are you gonna tell the other you're feeling yet? Alright. You're filled with determination. Also, after this video, I am gonna go watch Jacksepticeye's Undertale video. Because I want to. Actually, wa am kind of, uh... Uh, hesitant to do genocide because of Sans. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to that battle. It looks like a doozy, but I also love the song that's playing. Megalovania is one of my f most favorite songs out of Undertale that I love. It's just so, so, I don't know. It's just so. Huh. <sighs> Anyways, we're going to go to Undyne's house today. It's going to be uh, all about Undyne today. Did we do this in the live stream? Come again sometime. Tra la la. Tra la 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 la. Wait, which way are we going? This way. Ah, here we are. In Napstabluk's domain. <sighs> Alright. Over here. Wait. Doesn't seem like anyone's. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, wait. I should. Wait. Nobody picked up. Where's Papyrus' phone number? Didn't I have Papyrus' phone? Well, shit. Alright, we're gonna go to Snowden. And I'm gonna go get Papyrus. Oh, not that way. Definitely not in the dumpster. Mm-hmm. Wait, their house is this way. Paps! Paps! There you are, good old buddy! So, you came back to see me! You must be really serious about- Oh. Oh no. Oh no! What have I got myself into?! <laughs> oh no! I didn't mean that! Oh! Oh, what happens if we leave? Oh, fine. Ah, oh, Sans's theme! Oh, God. Welcome to Scenic My House! Enjoy and take your time! Right! Thanks, I'm just gonna go. I know that might seem rude to some people, but frankly, I've already done this already. Let's just go. Yes, right in the boat. Thank you, river person. Let's just get this done. Then afterwards, I'll end it there. Hey, Alphys, you home? All right, I'm not gonna eat a cookie while I'm, while I know there's dialogue coming. Hello. Oh my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and I never shower sometimes. Frankly, I just think it's a waste. 
Um... <laughs> Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. b b, -b uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you've stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but... Watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hot land. I know a way right to Asgore's pro castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. You guys know how difficult that battle's gonna be. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. <coughs> Anyway, recently I decided, decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features. Bitch, do I look human to you? Yes, I am. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy, me teensy weensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. And you jinxed us. Ah, uh, I gotta eat a cookie for this. Ow. Let's do that. Did you hear something? Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why did I do that voice? <laughs> Welcome, beauties. It's today's quiz show. Oh, boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Ever played before, Gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Yep, here we go. Let's cry. Scream is against the rules. Why is it? Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? I already know the answer to these questions because I've already done this before. The quiz show continues. Here's your terrific prize. What's the full name? King's full name. I already know this, Dr. Friendship. Lord Fluffy Buns! Ah! Your show continues, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let's try and spare. Never about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Yoink! Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you. Oh, shit, I know that one. D? Right then. Don't count on your victory. How many plays are in this jar? Oh dear. Really? The show continues. Oh, I hate this part. What monster is this? I know that's Froggy, but it seems a little flat. Flat. I know it's Metaton wearing a shirt. Can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Yep. Great answer. I love it. Also, that sounded different. It's a simple one. How many letters in the name might it's on? No. Of course that was easy for you. What do you take me for? Oh no. In the fourth chapter, oh no. I can't re I'm not reading it that fast. I'm gonna eat a cookie. Mm. Cookie. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Actually, I'm using my future knowledge, so you can't blame me for knowing. Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? I know it's online, but I'm gonna say human. I don't know, sorry. Correct. Dr. Alphys has a crush on the unknowable. See, Alphys believes there's someone out there, someone watching her, someone she thinks is cute and interesting. Hello, theoretical person. Dr. Alphys likes you. 
Too bad you are not real. <laughs> oh, hey, I've done research about this. There are alternate universes out there. Oh no! 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 Do not meta me! Do not meta me! No! Said the exact same thing about Mew Mew Kizikuni. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Person, if you're out there, how about giving us a sign right now? Holy crap! I can't believe I chose that! That sells that, doesn't it? Well, well, well! But Dr. Alpha's helping you! The show has no dramatic tension! We can't go on like this! But! But! This was just a pilot episode! Next up, more drama! More romance! More bloodshed! Until next time, darlings! See ya, dude! Can't wait to fight you in the next episode or something! Wait. Well, that was certainly something. Of course! Wait, wait! Let me go give you my phone number. Then maybe, if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second, please. Jesus! <laughs> What'd you kill, a woman? Here, I upgraded it for you. You do texting, items, it's got a keychain! I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network! Now we're officially friends. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Now I know that's not the bathroom. But anyways. Should I end it there or should I keep going? I want to see if I can get pap Oh wait! I have to do Papyrus' thing. Alright, we're going to go back and see if we can do something about that. And then we can catch up. I'll see you at Papyrus' house. Oh god damn it. Ah, good old Sans. Alright, Paps. Oh, I've already done that. Hold on, it's a joke book. Take a look inside? Sure! It said the joke book was a quantum physics book. If you look inside, inside the quantum physics books was another joke book. If you look inside, there's another quantum physics book. You said to stop! <laughs> that never gets old! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to. T Hold on. <coughs> As usual, I have to to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <coughs> it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring that back! Okay. It's still here! <laughs> Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! My brother has all, always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking some. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! What is that, a cake? Isn't... Isn't that pie? Is that pie? I can't tell. Huh. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit anytime. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Hi! Hi, Toby! What?! Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> oh, I love Sans! Sans, this is why Sans is my favorite character. He is hilarious, laid back, lazy, and loves to make puns and jokes and but he, he, there's this other side of him that's very serious. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Alright, let's just... Go up! 
That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends! Oh yeah, this is not the date. For some reason, I can do that. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Begin the hangouts? Yes, please! Okay, let's hang then! Hang out, start. Here we are! Hanging out! Oh, it's Tuesday. I've actually never done this before. I like that's the weight dog in the radar! But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official hangout book from the library. Uh, the library? We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for friendship, HUD. I think you already did that. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them to hang out. Ahem. Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will hang out with you. Sure. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. Nothing on your body. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. I mean, duh, what do you expect from us? Naked? Don't answer that. Do not answer that. That is the disturbing mental image I will not have you scarring me! No, could it be? You've wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning! Oh crap, why did I do that? No! You plapped it all! You're way better hated out than I am! I'm actually not. I never speak much. No! Your friendship power! Is it over 9,000? Nah! Nah! Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at hanging out, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold! Yoink. Yeet! <laughs> nah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> There's a friendship meter? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This hangout won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen! I already know. It's in the hat. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> I called it! But well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Spaghetti! It's not spaghetti. It's spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! What's all so wrong? This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artesian's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely Asian, an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is an indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Burr. No! It's over 9,000! <laughs> Your mind is clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. Hmm. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool it a little bit? You're a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends, but... I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Hmm. Hey, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss, Undyne. I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, 
Here's my phone number. God damn it, why didn't I not do that in the beginning? Fine. Fine. You can call me at any time, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here and go to Undyne's house, finally. I do not know why Sans' room has a floor, has fire reaching out from under the door, but that's okay. Because he, cause he's a pyromaniac like me. Well, let's go to Undyne's house and finish this episode for crying out loud. What an emotional adventure. Oh. We need to befriend everyone that we meet, including Flowey, I believe. Uh, so we can get the true pacifist ending. And then... Ah! Ha 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 ha! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Sure! Okay, stand behind me. Psst! Make sure to give her this! She loves these! Hi! Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! I, I don't think we've... Hi again! <laughs> nice to see you! Long time no see! <laughs> don't kill me! Why don't you two come in? He's like, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Yoink! Into the flames and into the pot! Here, Undyne! A friend brought a gift for you, on their own! Yoink! Uh... Thanks! Yoink! I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of bones. You're really working yourself! Down to the bone. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> Damn it, Papyrus! You have to replace Undyne's window now! So, why are you here? I can't I can't do Undyne's voice. She's a tomboy and uh, I'm thinking of like Okay. Uh, to rub your victory in my face? To humiliate humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. And why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah! Really? How delightful! I accept! That's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not! Why would, I, why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. I'd like to see you try, sassiness! I can take a punch. To the gut, maybe. Not the face. You're the enemy of any everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dane, what a shame. I thought Undyne would could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. <laughs> I just figured that Papyrus is just hanging out in the bushes next to the house, listening to our conversations. I love that. Oh, he... I love Papyrus. He's just this innocent kind of guy. Just being... Just being himself. Trying to make everyone, everyone friends with each other. Including Undyne and Frisk. Which I know the name of now. Because I've been reading Undertale fanfics for a long time. <clears throat> Anyways, on with the story. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day! Nah! I'll show him! Listen up, human! We're not just gonna be friends, we're gonna be... BESTIES! Oh god, she's doing this! She's doing this! No! <laughs> make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! <laughs> it's a perfect revenge! Why did I sound like Shaggy there? Zoinks, man! Let's get out of here! I don't know, that was a bad one. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? Uh, sure! 
Sit down and progress? But, but, but. I refuse to sit somewhere! Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword! Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Well... Just finals fantasy count? Yes! True! <laughs> I knew it! When I first read, heard that, I immediately wanted one! So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Yes, and <clears throat> not in any way a crush. One time, Alvis's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. That's Metaton. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Let's look in the cup. In the sink. Mm -hmm. The zing is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is so is some top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Alright. There's a silverware drawer as forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Jesus. Look inside the bone drawer? Sure. God damn it! <laughs> wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. No, no! I wanna let. Yeah, there's a. He winks! Alright. So nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Share, Undyne! What happens if we leave? I don't wanna leave, not yet. Yes, let's sit down and progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set! What would you like? Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um... Why not just point to what you want? You can use the sphere! How convenient! Also, I should do this. Are you... hitting on me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm evil. Alright. Hot chocolate. Let's do hot chocolate, because I love hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. This guy kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. God damn it. Let's just go with tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. <clears throat> right then, it'll take a moment for the tea, for the water to boil. <clears throat> okay, it's all done. Oh, they okay. I'll take the. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. Not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing be nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden... That's a hint! Oh, that's a hint! Oh, why do you give us hints? God damn it, Toby. Toby, damn you! To trash! Smiley trash bag. <sighs> Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. Uh, you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid, and there's that tune. I'm guessing that's Asgore's tune, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. Couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And, that, and from then on, he trained me. 
One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal, Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Okay. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into the little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, sorry, I was just talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second, Papyrus, this cooking lesson, he was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Here we go. Do 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 not, here we go. Oh boy. Prepare for art. Hold on, I gotta get the right hat. No, I don't have the hat. Damn it, I don't have the hat. I was gonna get my chef's hat, but oh well. Oh wait, I do have it, do I? Be right back, I'm gonna look on my hat. Ready to cook! I actually got this for my birthday. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I cook closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine! <laughs> right? We're gonna be best friends. Wah! What the hell? How does that happen? That's gonna hurt! Let's start with the sauce! Okay, that was a cool animation. Even though this game's old, I love it. I can't put my headphones on because of this. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong! Punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yay! <laughs> Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Jesus. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now! Why are they cooking utensils coming out of the ceiling? That's not right! Unless you have Muffet's spider webs. We have the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Nah. Nine. <laughs> uh, just put them in the pot. How about you put them in? Fiercely. Throw everything in the pot as hard as you can. Including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. This is a general rule of thumb. The more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Whoa! That's the stuff. Okay. I was trying to stand, I was doing the middle finger one. <sighs> turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. <laughs> and they don't hold anything back. Holy crap. Honor. Oh dear. I think we should stop. I think we should stop. Oh god, we should stop. We should stop. Wait. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no, our house! Ah! Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking! So, what's next? Scrapbooking, friendship bracelets? Oh wait. 
Now I can put this back on. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh, no. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. Oh, on both sides. This is the only way I can re re regain my lost pride. Now, come on. Hit me with all you've got. Big attack. You pretend to swing it undone with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? You're attacking at full force. Just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. I didn't I just went scotch there either. On either. I cannot speak today. What is going on? <laughs> at first I hated your stupid sh sh shirring st shtick. Shtick. Jalapeno on a shtick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimp wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. You're talking about Paps, aren't you? Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get to the hell. Let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? Yeah, sure it was. Besides the house burning down and everything, we'll have to hang out again another time. But uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, great. And that is a good place to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Undertale Part 4. We made good progress on this. At least a little bit. On the story. In the true pacifist ending. I think we're going to take on Metaton next. And then Muffet. Oh, I'm so not looking forward to the Metaton battle. It took me three hours to beat him. To beat him! Just him! I can't wait to try Asgore. <laughs> so anyways, let me know in uh, let me know in the comments down below if you get, if you want another episode. Uh, also check out the random video YouTube has decided to show you uh, to watch in the outro. So Yeah. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for more content such as this. And leave a like. Yeah, and you guys can be notified if you hit the bell icon. It makes everything much easier. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, as always, I'll see your beautiful faces in the next awesome upload or live stream. Peace out, everybody.